What's going on, everybody? Malik Murphy, one of the quarterbacks with the strongest arms in all the transfer portal, has left Texas and is now at least verbally committed to Duke. What does this mean for new head coach Manny Diaz and the Blue Dew Devils heading into 2024? All right, before we get into Manny Diaz and Malik Murphy, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get to 3,000 subs by the end of 2023, and we're pushing it. We are just a few days away, but thanks to your guys' love and support, we've almost hit the goal that we want, which, again, is 3,000 subs. We're not supported by ESPN, NBC, CBS. It's all come from you guys. We appreciate all the love and support. So let's talk a little bit about Malik Murphy. He has not had a chance to prove a lot at the college level. Came in to Texas. As a four-star in the composite, the number 12 quarterback was actually at one point in time in that 2022 class, a five-star quarterback. I think COVID really affected him. They did not get to play a ton in California. In fact, they shut down the entire season, but he really became this high-end prospect everybody was talking about because at a quarterback camp, he launched a 74-yard pass in the air, and everybody was like, who is this kid? He's massive, 6'4", 225. I mean, he is what you want in a quarterback, big arm. But again, didn't get to play much at Texas, sitting behind Hudson Card and Casey Thompson before that, and then Quinn Ewers. Now, last year, he did get to play in two games when Quinn Ewers was hurt. Just a 51% completion percentage against Kansas State that they won in overtime, passed for 248 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Then had a little bit of a better game in the first start, actually, against Birmingham, uh, BYU. 64% completion percentage, but just 170 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Why I like the move here, to, though, to Duke is the move Manny Diaz has made at offensive coordinator, bringing in Jonathan Brewer. For those of you who don't know Jonathan Brewer, he comes from the Rhett Lashley tree, which is a air raid type offense. And he helped lead Miami to the rank number 32 offense just a couple years ago. SMU, who he was with as well, record setting offense in 2019. And this could be a really great offense to allow Malik Murphy to air it out to give you guys an idea of that again. I always suggest head to camps to Canton.com. We have all of these things that you can look at with coaching game charts to show how good they have been over the past couple of years. If you go back to his time at SMU, pass explosiveness for this offense, with Jonathan Brewer was there with Rhett Lashley, 1.7 to 1.9. That is ridiculous above the chart. The average line for coaches and their offensive success rate was there as well with almost at 50% at times, upwards of 48 to 50%. Their EPA per play was 0.4, which is very good as well. Like they, they know how to get it done through the air, which is going to make it exciting for Duke if they do that. They have some very interesting players on the team that I think could be interesting wide receivers for them. Jordan Moore and Jalen Calhoun. Now, I believe, and Duke fans, let me know in the comments, I believe Jalen Calhoun is unfortunately out of eligibility, but Jordan Moore I know has at least one year left. He was very good last year. They also had uh, Samir uh, Hagans as well, who was actually a pretty good wide receiver for them, 205 yards on the year. But Jordan Calhoun and if Jordan Moore can come back, are going to be the big guys. Both those guys over 13 yards per play. If Malik Murphy can air it out in this offense, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. But look, well, I'll be straight with you. While Malik Murphy has the tools, he has yet to put it all together. His footwork at times last year were kind of, was kind of a mess. He's a big armed quarterback. But if Jonathan Brewer can kind of simplify this offense, give him specific reads to go through and specific players to hit on plays. I mean, look, Duke should be a very good team. They're, they're bringing back a really good defense. I know Mike Elko is gone, but Manny Diaz is not a bad defensive guy. He's been a very good defensive coach, helped that Penn State defense last year, which was really good. I think that this team has a chance to, again, compete and win the ACC as long as Malik Murphy is able to kind of take another step forward. He technically has three years left of eligibility, so Duke could be a lot of fun to watch for the next couple of years. Let me know what you guys think, though, Duke fans. Do you think you can win the ACC with Malik Murphy and this Manny Diaz-Jonathan Brewer pairing? I am excited to watch him. I think we could see some quiet and pretty good fantasy players on this team. We'll catch you guys later.